We are two sisters, Julia and Anastasia, caring for a regenerative fruit farm on the east coast of Australia. We have a dream to build a self-sustainable future and regenerate the land for generations to come. Join us as we learn to build, farm, garden, and care for the land regeneratively. Today, we are going to canoe across the dam to a hidden orchard on the other side. We harvest our jackfruit, wax jambus, and mangoes, climb many tropical fruit trees, and jump into the water to swim home, with baskets filled with heavy fruit. We cook it all up into a delicious homegrown meal with fried spiced jackfruit, a wax jambu salad called rujak, and delicious chili beans. We are going to get over to the tropical fruit paddock. There are two ways to get there, the fun way and the easy way. The easy way is to walk around the dam, but the fun way is to canoe straight through it. It should be faster to canoe across, but we always get a little distracted along the way, paddling through the lilies or sitting still and waiting for dragonflies to land on us. We've realized how important it is to not always do things the efficient way, but to do our work the joyous but slower way. This means that every day is unique, balancing work, play and spontaneity. Like us, Scout the Duck often comes to the dam, enjoying the simple moments of the day. We learn a lot from her, balancing her time playing and foraging with her ducky friends, with sneaking away and waddling around the dam, catching fish in her beak and diving under the lily pads.
This mango tree grows the best mangoes, hanging from its branches above the water. I'm checking if it has fruited at all this year, but it's unlikely because of all the rain. Off we go to collect the other fruit from the food forest. The trees on this slope were planted by our grandparents 60 years ago. They had moved from Indonesia 10 years before, so missed all the food that they left behind. So they planted jambu, jackfruit, lychee, carambola and black sapotis to remind them of all the Indonesian fruit markets and pandang restaurants. Our parents then tended to these trees and planted so many more. Our dad planted all the mangoes in this paddock and our mum grafted the kiwi fruit at the bottom of the hill. The carambola and guavas aren't quite ready yet. And there are only a few mangoes this year. This is our trusty fruit picker that has been in the family for years. It has a small blade that cuts the stem when you pull on its rope. Then the fruit falls into a little bag and we bring it back down. The goats love this time to forage themselves in the paddock. They are such sweet scaredy cats that if we leave them alone here, they scream out until they find a way to jump the fence and run home. There are so many jackfruit this year. I guess the wet year really suited them. A little tap determines if they're ripe or not. When it sounds hollow, they should be ripe. The sap is so sticky and stains everything. Yay, the sheep came to visit. Each day we walk to find them and give them their food with minerals to keep them healthy. But today they found us.
Get up, 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 no, 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 Again, there are two options, the fun way or the easy way, using the picker or climbing the trees. It's always fun to climb the trees and see everything from up high. They are so heavy. The sheep ran off super fast this way, so we're going to follow. They are so smart and always know which trees are fruiting and go to eat all the fallen fruit. And sure enough, past the big old mango tree, there is a jambu tree. Mm, I like these ones. Yum. I think these ones are so good. They are way sweeter than the ones we collected last week. There is also a candle nut tree. These nuts are used for everything, from an Indonesian sauce to an ingredient in tattoo ink in Borneo, or a natural oil lamp. Our grandfather always called this tree an elephant fruit, but he never knew any use for it. We still aren't totally sure what it is or what we can use it for. It has the brightest big flowers and its branches are so great for climbing.
Julia's doing all the work while I'm just sitting up here in the tree. This basket is so heavy now. Lucky we brought the canoes. Magnolia and Moth are waiting for us back at the dam, ready for a snack of jambu. <laughs> Moth? Time to get home. <laughs> Look at all this yummy fruit. Now we have to load up the canoes to get home. The afternoon rain has come in, so it's time to cook up a feast. Julia is shelling some beans that we grew earlier this year. The jackfruit is a little underripe, but if we boil it, it should be fine. But this means that it's super sappy. The sap makes your fingers stick together and is so hard to get off. Some people actually use it as a glue. Covering the knife and our hands with coconut oil means that it won't stick. We boiled the jackfruit in water for a few hours and now we're adding it to a pan with cumin, paprika, cinnamon and salt.
Now we are going to make an Indonesian rujak inspired salad. So colorful. and some yummy chili beans. Mum makes the best coconut yogurt and we're going to make a yogurt sauce for the meal. Yum, all done. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. <laughs>